What's up guys? 23 Volt is signing in again, and it's my phase to start chapter 8. It's a trap of Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. And let us begin. I should actually should have mentioned in the previous chapter that that was the last time you can actually prepare yourself, prepare yourself for the upcoming chapter because from chapters 7 to 8, it's an immediate it's a straightforward thing. You can't go back, you can't buy more items or whatever. You immediately start in the place. So let us begin. Chapter 8, it's a trap. But why is it called a trap? I thought everything was going so well. This way, Princess Eureka. Prince Ephraim is being kept in a cell back here. Very well, let's go. So awesome. How long ago were you taken prisoner? Some two weeks passed. Prince Ephraim and I were forced to surrender. We've been held captive here in this dungeon since that black day. Did you gain any news from, from your captors during that time? Unfortunately, no. Not a word. Our daily meal was brought to us by servants from the neighboring village. They were instructed not to speak to us, and we heard nothing of the war. Tell me, sir, how fares Renias? Renias has fallen. King Fardo. The king is dead. Dead? My king? My apologies, Princess Riga. I have served you poorly. You're not to blame, Sir Orson. We must look to the future, not find fault in the past. The Grotto army pursues me in hopes of acquiring my bracelet. My brother wears this bracelet twin, and he is in danger too. Bracelet? Ah, I remember. Prince Ephraim still wears the bracelet. And Grotto is after them? If that's the case, Princess, perhaps you should entrust the bracelets to someone else. Perhaps, but give them to me. Or to Seth. Let someone you trust guard them. If the Empire does des desires your bracelet, you are in danger as long as you hold it. For your safety, Your Highness, please, what say you? We must not allow the Sacred Stone of Renias to be taken. Everything you say is true and sensible, yet... HOLD IT! I would put the effects in, but I have no skill for that. Sir so Orson, I'm sorry for this, but please give me your weapons. Seth? What are you talking about, Seth? Can't you see I'm unarmed? Do you think they allow a prisoner's weapons? What kind of injury have you taken that you suggest such foolishness? If I am mistaken, then I will give you all due apologies. However, there are questions I have that I cannot answer. Too many questions. Why did no enemy reinforcements come from the castle during our battle outside? Why would you escape your cell and yet leave Prince Ephraim in chains? How do you know the tie between the bracelets and the sacred stone? Seth, there is some misunderstanding here, I... And why... Why do you conceal a blade within your dablet? What? Very well. You haven't changed a bit, Seth. If only Erika had been alone, you, however, simply will not be deceived. Orson, what is the... Orson, why did you betray Renias? My fondest wish will be granted to spend the rest of my days in the embrace of my loving wife once more. What are you saying? That's enough. You're, you've done well, Orson. I'll take over now. You may return to your beloved wife. He turns red! You traitor! Who are you? We've never met. I'm Torado, loyal and talented aide to Volta, general of the Grotto Army. You are that monsters. And you are General Seth of Renias, yes. I thought to catch a little bird in my net, and it seems instead snared a hawk. Where is my brother? Ah yes, your brother. He's not here. The coward fled Lord Volta's pursuit. Somehow he escaped the castle. Escaping under these conditions. Tch, such stubbornness is quite annoying. It was my cunning that led us to turn this unfortunate blunder to our advantage. I spread the rumors myself. I led the villagers to believe he was our prisoner. What better trap with which to catch his sweet devoted sister? My brother escaped? Yes, but your no doubt emotional reunion will have to wait until the afterlife. Let's end this, shall we? First to destroy the bridge and cut off your only avenue of escape. You do realize you can't leave either now. That's the only bridge to escape the place. Where are you gonna go? 
Did they think that through? Princess Arika, we have to get away from this place. But how? The bridge is gone. Blast! Oh, brother, I'm so sorry. I... You screwed up. You're dead. So, basically, we fell for their trap hook, land, and sinker. But before I do this, I'm going to get everything ready. So, BRB, everybody, what's again? Alright, guys. This was a very, very difficult decision to make. So, this is the very, very, very big, uh chapter. Well, actually, it's more like very... It's a pretty large map. And if you actually notice, if you have a quick look at the map, you, it looks familiar, doesn't it? Because this, if you remember, of course, this was Renville, which was the castle that we tried to take in the first place. However, as you can see, that part of the map is still here. Instead, we're going to attack it from the bottom right, which I find is pretty cool. So, good job, game. You did the right thing. So, what does this mean for us? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be sending... Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, formation. I'm going to be sending these four units to the left side, and I'm going to be sending these five units up north and break through this uh, horde of units. And that is really just the main goal, or that's just how this map is going to work. Um, if there's anything I should have worth noting, Torado is your first promoted boss that you're going to be fighting. He is a general, which is a promoted unit for a uh, knight. But his stats suck, so he's not that much of a threat. Um, so, we don't really need to care about you. Alright, so Orson is a big douche. We have a door key that we can steal. I don't think anyone likes Orson, and there's nothing else to take. Don't you think Orson sucks, so that we can start the chapter? Yeah, let's start the chapter, shall we? Alright, so we're just gonna jump right in, and what's the first thing we're gonna do? We need to think. We really do need to think this through, because if we do one stupid mistake, that can spell the end of the game for us. Immediately. Anyway, Ross is doing great. How are you able to... How are you able to double attack? With all that. With all that weight you're carrying, my friend. Speed, though, your speed's average, I'd say. Your speed's not great, but it's pretty good. Well, then again, Ross at that level is already amazing. I mean, just compare those stats to poor Gilliam down here. He's matching him in defense. Which is very odd. <laughs> oh, you could double attack this guy? Perfect. I really wish you wouldn't, yeah, do that much damage to me. But Gilliam's a tank, and he'll tank it, so... Good job, Gilliam. Please get defense, though. I need the defense. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Alright, ease. So, once again, I need to be careful here. I believe you... You can't reach him, so let's... Uh, Yay. Right, so I'm gonna move there with an iron sword. I'm gonna move Joshua here with an iron sword. I believe I gave you an iron lance, not an iron sword. That's my mistake. Alright, now that we've blocked that off, we can have Natasha move this way. Colm's main mission is just to open this chest and open these chests. That's all he's meant for this chapter. He's not going to be fighting a lot, if at all. So, you have that to look forward to. <laughs> Good old Rossy boy. I'll even, you know what, I'll even have Ross take the bait. Go on, attack Ross. I, I, not Ross. His name's not Ross, his name's Cole. Wow, that guy actually does a lot of damage. Fight nine damage for that fact. Plus this guy's eight. Gilliam could have died because then the archer would attack Gilliam, but thank God he's attacking Colm instead. So that turned out okay. That was a pretty. That was probably the best turnout that could happen. As long as he dodged one of them, then he wouldn't have died. So there we go, another close death, and I screwed up again. Oh, anyway, hi! 
Do you think it could be General and Seth and Princess Rika? We have two goals here, men. Save Rika and vanquish the enemy. Kyle, Ford, are you ready? Yes, Your Highness. As always, Lord Emperor, we should join forces with Princess Rika first. We should be able to reach them by the way of the Eastern Corridor. Come now, Kyle. That seems a lot of trouble when we just crush Grotto between us. A lot of trouble? Ford, you're as insolent as you are careless. If anything were to happen to Princess Rika, we Knights of Renios would... Fine, fine, I see where you stand. Calm down before you boil over. Prince Ephraim will decide. How shall we proceed, Your Highness? We await your command, Prince Ephraim. Both of you follow me. So basically, those two just uh, suggested two different ways to play this map. You can have these three join this army and then just flood through this level with ease. Or, you can have these three go up this way and then meet them up in the middle. Which is what I'm going to do, considering you get the most experience that way, because there's more enemies on the left. So, what do we do? Uh, I really want to get some heals in. I actually want to give a kill to Calm. Now. Calm is looking very, very, very... likely of a kill here. Alright, so I'm going to get that kill with Gilliam, because Gilliam... I'm kind of worried about Gilliam right now. He, he has no speed at all. He's taking a lot of damage already. And you can't even double attack him, Ross. What the hell? I have an armor slayer, though, I believe, so... It's all good. Using the armor slayer to its advantage. Mm-hmm. Now Joshua gets a level up, just what we needed. A shit level up, might I add. Come on, Joshua. I brought you in this chapter for a reason. I could put you back, you know. Let me get rid of that. Uh, Alright, so let's put Natasha here to heal Joshua. Now just because, hey. She's healing Joshua. You didn't even heal him fully. Yeah, that, that level up was actually worth it, honestly. Alright, can you kill this guy? Not on your own. Can you help kill this guy? Actually, you probably could. I mean, you can help. Yeah, this guy just... This guy just walked to his own death. Why would you ever, in your right mind, decide to just walk in the front lines as an archer? Knowing full well that the enemy has, like... Eight units right there to attack you. Eh, could have asked for more. But you get what you get, so I'm not going to be too whiny about it. Franz with the defense. Jeez, you're going to only take two damage from this guy? Yes, nice. I like it. I remember it honestly weak. Well, he sort of is. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's heal you. I need my healers to constantly keep healing him. Just constantly. Just keep the cycle going. As long as I keep healing, everything's okay. Now, if you attack, if you... this, If this idiot there attacks, um... Seth, I give up. Alright, so I want to be careful here, because usually I, I love being aggressive, but being aggressive does risk it, so I'm not going to do that. So, you're good, and you're good. I actually want Kyle to do this, but I'm going to have... Kyle, you have more defense, right? You do, so yeah, why not have Kyle stand here? What about you, Ephraim? Uh, Kyle has more, more defense by Kyle. There we go. And that's also why, I should also mention, if you notice the inventory between the three of them down there... Aww, you, you got killed by Erika. Uh, that is why I gave all of Orson's stuff to the units down there, because now I've got free items just from him. I mean, it never would have happened if I knew the game beforehand, but it's all good. 20 damage, and you missed with an 83. Kyle, I'm disappointed. That doesn't make that archer is not making me happy either. Oh no. Alright. 
please kill this guy. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Um, ooh, I still have a killer one. I can stab you to death, my friend. Uh, you know what? I actually think I will do that. So, killer lance away! I was hoping you actually critical hit him, but I guess that's going to do, Ephraim. A level up for Ephraim! Please be good! Of course it's freaking good, it's Ephraim. Alrighty. And then... Get my sword out. Yikes. Uh, hey, let me check here. Nine. Nine. You're all level nine, what's going on? Alright, we'll heal Franz. Just cause, hey. Ah, Toshiba Service Station, you haven't interfered for so long and then you came back! Oh well, you're gone now. That's all that matters, you're gone. That's all that matters, mate. You don't, you don't need to be here. Oh shoot, I need to heal Gilliam and fast. <laughs> Let's let's heal Gilliam. Yeah. Let's heal him good. Let's heal him good. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. So now let's move Arika and Seth this way. Let's move Rossi Boa. Uh yes, let's move Ross here. Wait really scared. I don't know why I'm scared. They have zero speed. That basically means they don't even move when they hit. Let's equip that thing and open the door. Yeah. You. Let's have calm. Take a hit. Alright. This is good. Ugh. Ugh. Now, if I only had my freaking magic units, but I couldn't bring my magic units. That's why it sucks to be so limited sometimes. Everything's looking up good. Eh. Eh. Hurrah. Alright, that mage is scary. This... This shaman is scary. Oh, come on, Colm. You have a 52% chance of dodging that. You could have dodged it with ease. Right, was I expecting too much? I hope not. Alright, so Gilliam's gonna take care of this guy over here. He'll also get a level up in the process. Like... As soon as he kills him, I mean. Right, Natasha's really doing work over there, so good job, Natasha. Um, you... I guess you can just keep hammering away at these guys. Which reminds me, I really should have brought the hammer for this. I mean, I don't think Ross would be able to double attack with them. At least he could do some major damage with it, so hey. Wins a win, right? I don't like how long this fight is actually going to take. Yeah, this is gonna be a long fight. Ouch. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, you're getting there, Franz. That's good. Mmm. Huh. Right. So let's use you and uh, freak. I don't know what to do. Yes, yes. Ephraim, please go here. No, here. 
and use the steel lance on that guy, and then you're done. All right, let's move you, bros, to this end. You're not in his range. Nope. Okay, good. All right, you two are the only ones left. That's all right. That's part of the plan. So here's this shaman who's still being an idiot and deciding to walk into his own death. Good job, sir. You are the most genius player in the entire game. I'm really worried about this Gilliam. He's not getting the defense I want. <laughs> I mean, he's got 10. But he, he... By level 20, he should max out both strength and defense. That is what I am saying. There you go, Franz. You know how to dodge this guy. He can't even move at all. I mean, it took you a few hits to kill him, but hey. Yeah, a lot of armor on, so... Good job. Taking him out. Uh, very physical level up. You have nines across the board. Alright, Ephraim. You should be able to kill this guy, no problem. Thank you. You're doing the great. Mm-hmm. Here comes that shaman, and more reinforcements from the left. That's just what I wanted. Not. Okay, so, I think it's time to do some conversations. Reunion time. Do I hear reunion? I think we do. So let's first have the good old brother and sister talk. Erica, are you well? Brother, is it really? You're alive, you're alive! Well, of course I am. After we escaped Ranval, I thought I'd strike a blow against the Emperor himself. When heard you'd been way, uh, waylaid by the enemy, however, I turned back to find you. Looks like my timing was impeccable. I'm so sorry. The irony is that I was trying to rescue you. All I did was interfere with your plans. What are you talking about? You came to help me, didn't you? Your efforts alone are enough to inspire me. Come, Erika. The enemy awaits. Alright! Oh, Well, that's adorable. Now, you... Shoot. Let's actually have Seth talk to Ephraim. Prince Ephraim, General Seth, you're safe. Princess Erika is safe as well. I'm afraid I have much news to relate to you. Now we'll have to wait though. For now, we must cut our way through here. Yes, let's continue our business here before we talk of other matters. Come on! Yes, sire. Alright, now we have Kyle. Talk to Seth. General Seth. Well met, Kyle. I never thought for a moment that you could be bested easily. No, sir. And I never doubted that I would see you again. Kyle, about Orson. We heard it all. Unbelievable, isn't it? But facts are facts. Yes, if Orson can turn his back on Renias, we remaining knights will have to work all the harder to prove ourselves. Let's go, Kyle. Yes, sire. And why did this all of a sudden just go dim? I want to see what I'm doing. Alright, so let's wait, uh, they are, and, uh, let's move to... France, yes. Because France, actually, no. Yes, because France and Ford have a conversation. Brother! Ha, huh, France, how you've been? I should ask you. We heard you were captured by Grider's men, I was worried. Worried? I ride with Prince Ephraim, little brother. Little brother! <laughs> Death will have a tough time catching anyone who rides with our prince. But it's not like we've avoided trouble altogether, that's for sure. Hmm. Say, so, have you grown taller on me? I have. I've also finished my training. I'm now a sworn knight of Renias. You just watch. I'm going to be on par with General Seth one day. You want to be like the general, eh? What about me? Oh, I... I still want to be like you too, brother. <laughs> you avoided that really well, Franz. Okay. So, what can I do? I shall heal one of you. The one who's probably going to get the most here is probably going to be Franz, just because um, he is the lowest level. Uh, that's okay. That's okay, Mordra. Accept it. Uh, yeah, but he, he, Franz is the lowest level, so he needs the uh, experience the most. I don't like that Thunder Time, though. I really don't. Um, I really want to drag you out this way. And I'm going to use a Vonnery just in case. I mean, I don't think he's really used to doing that, but hey, let's do it anyway. Because why not? Let's 
you're only using a vulnerary every now and then. And X away! Uh. Wow, that actually worked out perfectly, because now I can... Have... Yeah, wow, well, this was a waste. Have Joshua sweep it for the kill. I need Joshua to gain a little bit of experience. As well as Natasha, you need to start healing these... Men. Men. I don't think I did that right, but whatever. Close enough, I say. Close enough. And my stomach is growling. God damn it. Alright, this guy's dead. Ow. I mean, he hurt me a bit. Joshua! Show him the slicey dicey moves. Alright, so here comes this girl. Ow! That hurt. Alrighty, so... Interesting predicament I'm in right now. So we have a 10, a 9, an 8, a 1, I don't care about you. 9, 6, and a 9. So obviously the 8 comes first. And we'll use the Iron Sword just to increase our chances by that much. Because every bit counts when it comes to Fire Emblem. You can't trust an 81 if you have a 91. You can't trust a 30 if you have a 50. And you can't trust a 1 if you have a 2. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Okay. So how are we going to do this, boys? We have a bit of a cluster bulge, if you ask me. Um, I really am actually worried about this. These guys can hurt, because they have... Uh, you have an Iron Lance, you have a Steel Lance, and you have a Steel Sword. Well... Oh, I don't have a Vulnerary? Where am I Vulnerary is at? There is one. Oopsies, oopsies! Alright, so we're going to use one Vulnerary here, and he will hold the Steel Lance. I have absolute confidence that you will survive. And I have absolute confidence for Ford too, so... In all honesty, I have really nothing to worry about here. So everything on the bottom area is fine. Now we just need to get everyone up here again. We'll get the Iron Axe out. I'm going to heal Joshua, just because we need him. Yay. The heal broke, boohoo. I don't really mind that, that's alright. And we're going to move home in stealing position. I want to keep Joshua here just to increase the support with the Natasha. And we'll see what happens. So Ross is going to get hit twice. Oh, he's going to get targeted twice, I should say, not get hit. Look at that, he dodged the first one. Good job. He's also going to get a level up, which is also why I planned that out pretty well, if I do say so myself. Ow. I didn't want to get hit, though. Okay. Good job, Ross. Nice level up for you. I do realize, though, that my two magic units are going to be freaking annoying to freaking catch up. Good dodge, good dodge. You can get doubled! Okay, I need to rethink that. Oh my god. Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so these guys have the ability to double. Glad I know this now. Knowing Franz, you should be able to double attack this guy, right? No, you can't. Damn it. Um. This is going to be a risk. And it's a big one. Gonna take the double attack. Can you at least dodge one of them, dude? 
You might be wondering, what am I doing? I'm trusting a 76. Thank you, 76. Oh god, that was a that was something I did not want to be part of. You have an iron land, so you're really no threat. Uh, Regan Leaf, yeah, Regan Leaf, you're sorry ass. Just, no, don't don't even come close to me. Ooh, nearly a level up there for good old uh, Ephraim. Good old Ephraim, he's Ephraim as can be. Hey. Well, at least he can't hurt me that bad. There we go. That's what I wanted from you, Kyle. Okay. So this guy screwed. And what do we have left? We just have these guys to keep moving. You two just keep talking to each other for a little bit and now we need uh, I really wanna I really wanna use coal but I can't because boom money okay so an angelic robe is probably my favorite is that enhancing item because it increases the HP of a, of the max oh sorry it increases your max HP by seven which that's a lot so <laughs> Well, actually, my favorite would probably be the speed wing, just because it increases my favorite stat. But to increase that amount is pretty impressive. Like, 7 HP is quite a bit of HP when you think about it. How did you miss a 90%? Nah, 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 That didn't happen. And that level up didn't happen either. Joshua, you're ticking me off here, boy. I don't like how you're turning out today. Okay, well, let's hand axe you. Just to lower you that much more. And then we finish you with the good old Gilliam in the face. Whoop! Iron Lance, thank you. Okay. Now, another thing I should mention, that this is actually a big thing because these guys wield longbows. Longbows are a special type of bow that, if you remember, archers can shoot from two spaces away. Longbows are able to shoot from two to three. So they have an extra space of uh, range that they can shoot at, and I would prefer not to be in that said range. 